it brings attention to our skies and our city streets. It can be visually striking or patiently waiting for you to discover it. And if you look and keep an open mind, it can be thought provoking. Hmm. This is most certainly conceptual. Whether it's adding a splash of color or sparking greater conversations, public art adds a vibrancy to our culture. And this time of the year, the Harbor City is drawing artists from all around the world, including those who have come here to brighten up our block. We came from Santa Clara in California. In September, a handful of artists in the 2015 International Chalk Festival brought our city streets to life. Try to shoot for a loom within a teardrop. It was all an attempt to shed light on the festival's theme this year, focusing on the relationship between First Nations and the environment. I'm drawing an image today of a dreamscape. It is our neighbor's daughter, and her imagination pops to life, and it realizes itself as a salmon. I guess the theme this year is like spiritualness, and I really like bears. I guess it's kind of like my spirit animal, so I thought I'd do it. Some portraits tell a story, others represent their heritage. Oh, well, these are actually the four directions. So that's the north, east, south, and west. And the animals actually represent the different directions. And while these portraits are beautiful, they are temporary. The idea of permanency is an illusion. You go to the museum, you see Van Gogh and the sunflowers, and then you go home, and really what you've had is the experience of the sunflowers. There is no permanency. It's the experience that changes you, not some kind of permanent thing. So it's all an illusion. While some artists prefer using chalk, others prefer using a medium that sticks around a little longer and stands out. This brother and sister duo want their art to stick out. The Mexican artists specialize in anamorphic street art. We decided to experiment with 3D art. It was really hard at the beginning, but every time it's easier and easier. It takes the siblings a full four to five days to complete a 3D canvas. Since this specific project was being done indoors, there was no fear of cloudy skies, but an imperative focus on perfecting the sketch for a full 3D effect. The longer you go, you need to distort more the, the, the figure, so, and also in the angles is more and more distortions. The special thing when you create 3D images is that it's only one viewpoint. Because if you see the painting from the other side, you, you see a very distorted image and sometimes you can get it. And the beauty of this... It's like a transformation only for a few days, so it's like uh, for them. I think it's very interesting to see the progress, how suddenly the, this place is transforms in anything completely different. So this is part of the charming of the street art. Charming indeed, but that's not all public art has to offer. The visual mediums engage the community, igniting ideas, conversations, debates, having you look at your world differently. Whether it lasts a day or a lifetime, public art is shaping Victoria's cultural landscape. For Shaw TV, I'm Lisa Pismeni.